Upon his arrival to Hispaniola, Christopher Columbus recorded his first impressions. Hispaniola is a wonder. The land is high and has many ranges of hills and mountains. All are most beautiful and various in shape. They are covered with tall trees of different kinds, which seem to reach the sky. Everywhere I went, the nightingale and many other birds were singing. 500 years later, Hispaniola still displays its rich diversity of birds. From coastal lowlands to the highest altitude in the Caribbean, arid lands to lush forests, more than 300 bird species thrive in the diversity of ecosystems and habitats on the island, including 31 species found nowhere else in the world. Columbus named this island paradise La Española, today known as the English translation Hispaniola. Two countries share this island, the second largest in the Caribbean, with the Dominican Republic occupying the eastern two-thirds and the Republic of Haiti on the west. Even after extensive human development, the island's diversity of ecosystems has been preserved in some regions. Still virgin beaches border extensive mangrove swamps, followed by rocky coastline. Humidity and rain brought by trade winds from the Atlantic Ocean nurture humid forests in the island's northeast. The south and northwest present a completely different landscape. Extensive dry and cacti forests, partially at elevations below sea level, exhibit a desert-like scenery. Over 200 salty and freshwater lakes and lagoons enrich the extreme diversity of habitats and landscapes. Lowland dry or humid forests border mountain broadleaf forests towards the inland where altitudes change dramatically. Cloud and pine forests cover large extensions of the four mountain ranges stretching from east to west. The highest peaks of the central mountain range rise to an elevation of more than 3,000 meters or 11,000 feet, the highest in the Caribbean. At any elevation, birds are abundant and omnipresent confirming the extraordinary biodiversity of Hispaniola. <laughs> 